Hey, how's it going? Justin Castilla here with Redis University. Just wanted to show you really quickly how to connect to Redis via Docker. Super, super simple. All right, join me. With me, Justin Castilla. I need the corner. Ah. All right, so we're going to start with Docker. So I have Docker version uh, 20.10.2. And I'm going to just start. So Docker run, I'm going to call dash P6379 colon 6379. Now this is going to map the internal Redis servers 6379 port to the external um, access. So I can actually contact this database outside the Docker container. Dash D is going to run the Redis server in the background. So I will just have an open command prompt after this, which is really, really nice. And then I'm going to give my uh, Redis instance a name. So I'm going to call it Redis 6 because I know I'm going to be downloading the latest version. Uh, the next is going to be Redis colon latest. And this is just telling Docker that I want the latest version of Redis. I could change this to you know 5.0 by 0.11 or 6.0.1, whatever I want. Um, and they'll give me previous versions, but I want the latest. All right. Should be good to go. It's not going to find the image locally, so it's going to pull it from Docker Hub. It's going to install it, and there we go. So now you see I have this long hash. That's my container ID. So Docker PS, there you go. There's my container ID, and there's all the information I gave it. I wanted the Redis colon latest version, and the name is Redis 6, and my ports are mapped to 6379 on the outside. All right, so I have two different options on how to actually access this and check to make sure it works via the command line, Redis command line. I could do internally with Docker, docker exec dash it, the name and sh. And so I'm opening a shell and I'll call Redis dash CLI. Cool, so now I'm internally inside, I'm internally inside. I am inside the container and I can do all of my work. So let me just call info server. And this allows me to check my version, Redis point six point two, or sorry, Redis 6.2.1, good to go. And so that is one way. So I'm still in the shell, exit again. Now I can also, uh, I already have Redis installed locally on my machine on my machine. So I can call Redis CLI and this will automatically check for 6379 connection. So here you go. So now I'm actually connected to my Redis instance in my Docker container. Cool. So let's do the same thing and let's do it um, for Redis mod. Now Redis mod is a Redis labs offering that has all of our, I'm sorry, a lot of different modules installed for you to work with. So let me stop. Uh, my image, 385DCD4FAB7. No such container. All right. Let's just copy pasta. Okay. So it's turned off. And so now I'm going to call docker run same pattern dash P. 6379 colon 6379 dash D. The name, I'll call it redis mod do that and then i'm gonna call redis labs slash redis mod it's unable to find it locally and now it will pull it from docker hub now this is quite a bit larger because it has so many different modules installed so don't be surprised if this takes a little bit longer to run or i'm sorry install um, before you get up and running a few moments later Okay, cool. So now everything is running and now I have my new um, hash. So let me just run Docker PS just to be on the safe side. There we go. You'll see I'm running Redis mod. Um, and there's my name, Redis mod, and then it's properly published from 6379 to 6379. So I'll just use my local Redis CLI instance. Now let me call info server and I see that it's running Redis version 601. And then let me call Reddit, or I'm sorry, info modules. 
And this will give me all the modules that I have installed on this instance. So we have Redis Time Series, Redis JSON, Redis AI, Redis Search, Redis Graph, Redis Bloom Filter, and Redis Gears. So this is everything you need to get up and running and, and very powerful uh, with, with Redis and the Redis modules. Cool. So hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment in the comment section or contact us via our uh, Discord server for Redis. Uh, we'd love to have a chat with you and see what you'd like to see. All right. Have a great day.